Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and yeah, November. It is the month of the worst natural lighting of the year. It's damp, it's cold. November has only ever given this world one good thing, and it's not Thanksgiving. I'm going to get to the giveaway winners at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I know everybody's like on pins and needles for some reason. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a little flashlight and another little flashlight and a knife. It's, why is everyone so excited? Oh well. Hey, we're going to talk today, we're go this is going to be like an addendum to that everyday carry uh, video that I did because I briefly touched upon a couple of the medical kits that I have and people wanted more information about what's inside them. So we're going to go ahead and get those out, show you what's inside them, show you how I put them together, just you know, a couple different plastic containers, very easy, transfer them back and forth between bags depending on what you're doing. Uh, the bigger one is usually in my car, but if we go out in the woods because we're going to be testing knives or doing any kind of that stuff, camping, it goes in the bag with me. So, get cut, having a little accident, uh, you're not bleeding out. So if you want to find out more about that, don't go away. Okay, let's start off with the one that I, I glossed over that everybody keeps asking me about. And you see this sometimes in the different pack videos that I do, especially like the VanQuest ones that have the Velcro attachments on the inside. This pouch, I don't know the exact name of it, is made by Condor. I got it in a surplus store once. I added the extra, the extra Velcro on here to put the little personal first aid kit tape on it. Velcro backing. But this is how, this is what I did with this one. So you open it up, pull out the main box, and you're gonna assume that whatever's going on, you're gonna need to clean your hands before you work on yourself. So I always have a couple antibacterial wet wipes in there, and a couple other things. So the stuff that's not in the box, which is just a small roll of stretch gauze, Pill fob with some ibuprofen and some 16 plus UMF Manuka honey, uh, Wetter Spoons brand. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Whole Foods. Use this for just about everything. It's better than Neosporin. Very, very versatile substance. So, this container that I have right here, this is a plastic cream cheese box. I think I found it at Big Lots. It is just, I think, the right size for a small personal first aid kit like this. And this is mainly geared toward things like, you know, cuts, scrapes, you know, all that. You're not going to do any kind of major surgery with this. This is the one that gets used the most if you're out with kids or something like that. So you got some different, a lot of, a lot of bandages. I like having this uh, burn gel, not necessarily because in case you get burned, although of course you can use it for that, but it's a topical analgesic. So we've got that, got an ammonia inhaler, lots of band-aids because the band-aids are the most, the thing that you're going to use the most. Over here on the side, this is from uh, you know, like one of those industrial type uh, first aid kits. I forget where I got these from, but that's just some single-use Neosporin and there's some hydrocortisone cream in there as well. Some antiseptic towels, and these are probably one of the most important things that's going to be in this particular kit so assuming that this is all you got. Uh, some Steri strips, wound closure strips. So if you get a pretty big cut you're going to need to close it with that. These have been used more than once. Obviously not these ones, but they've come in handy. Uh, these are just insect, insect sting ampules. Out in the woods, kid kicks over a hornet's nest or something. And then some large waterproof pads and some gauze pads. 
one thing that should be in here that's not so it's good that I kind of did this there should be at least one suture set in here so I will remedy that when I get home I know there's one in the small kit in my car but there should have been one in here as well and that's all that I have for that for like the small kit I mean these are the, this is for the stuff that's gonna happen most often you're not always gonna be doing emergency tracheotomies on yourself when you're out in the freaking woods or something like that so then let's get on to the bigger one or put put this away I don't want you to think I'm slacking went over to the other kit in my car and got the got a suture kit that should have been in here the whole time we put this thing back the way it needs to be I actually had a suture kit in here but you know I had to save a, a baby penguin last week got uh, hit by a lawnmower and I gave up my suture for the good of the nature world but it's been replaced. All right, this is for when somebody really screws up. It is just a Tupperware container. I picked this size. I, I tried a couple different sizes because I didn't want to have too much. I didn't want to go overboard. I still wanted it to be portable. So easy to open up right on top. Got a SWAT T tourniquet. Got Curlix large roll and if you remember the videos from Hector this is going to be mainly for dealing with non-compressible arterial bleeds got an Israeli bandage on top and it's already open ready to go now a lot of people I, I think he addressed this in the video but he may have cut it out I, or I may have cut it out a lot of times people see this and they're like well that's not sterile these aren't meant for really being sterile you just don't want to be dirty they're meant for stopping the bleeding and getting you to a hospital and then if you picked up a couple germs between there and the hospital the the hospital can you know give you some antibiotics or something but the the key thing is having something right there that's open ready to go that you don't have to fumble with it same thing over here this is the AOL MO ah, I hate this one. I can't ever remember the acronym. But this is the more, uh, this this is the better version of the Israeli bandage. It's got cotton gauze stuffed in here. It's just a, it's got an eye cup built into it. If you if you take one to the eye, shoot your eye out. <laughs> so those are very versatile. Got a quick clot, advanced clotting sponge and quick clot combat gauze most people anymore don't recommend using the granulated powder uh, because if you use that it, it'll stop the bleeding but guess what then when you get to primary care they got to scrub all that out of you and that's not that's going to have a on a scale of one to ten ten being the most fun and one being the least fun definitely a one so go with the gauze or the sponges. My Tech Med Solution Soft TW Tourniquet. Ace Bandage Roll, that's going to go in conjunction with the Curlix for the non-compressible. Uh, that's just a typical triangular bandage. And then I'll have like at least one set you know, if I if I squeeze more in here, depending on how well I pack it, I might have two sets of nitrile gloves. I'm gonna have some super glue because we all know that <laughs> I've used this more than once to seal up a cut. And then the all important one inch gorilla tape, uh, especially important with your tourniquets. Once you've got it set and you've got the windlass tied down. As Hector said, you're, you're going to want to double secure that with a strip of duct tape if you have it, just to make sure everything is good. So right there, that is basically my portable oopsie kit. It's like, oops, I shot myself in the foot. Oops, that chainsaw juggling act for the school talent show didn't go quite as planned. Uh, something like that. You know, baby penguin hit by a lawnmower. This will definitely 
take care of it. So there's that, nice, quick, and easy. Uh, it's been a question that I've been getting a lot on Facebook, asking me when I'm gonna go into that since I mentioned it in the everyday carry video. And we've covered it before, but a lot of people don't see those old videos or they know exactly where to find them or anything like that. So, God, this is definitely one of the 29 sucky days of November. It's the dampness. It's like it's not technically that cold, but that damp air just makes it colder. You miss winter, don't you? You miss how, you, how I like to whine about it. Anyway, you guys want to know about who won the giveaway stuff. Well, let's see. What was there? Well, first was the Olight SR Mini. Is that, is that what it was? Uh, the copper one. That was the first giveaway item. And the winner of that is going to be this person right here. Yay! You don't have to be afraid of the dark anymore. So congratulations to you. The second one was the Cold Steel Fin Wolf. Uh, we had that one as well. The winner of that knife is going to be this person right here. So yay! Uh, before you go playing with it, definitely build one of these bleed kits because I ain't responsible for that. That's on you. The last one was from the video we did the other day last Friday and that was on the three mini flashlights and that was for the small UltraTac flashlight that was provided by Going Gear and the winner of that is going to be this person. So yeah, you also do not have to be afraid of the dark anymore. It's a pretty cool light. I do like it. So that's all we got for right now. I got to get out of here. I'm sorry. I know I shorted you one video this week. I'm going to make it up to you. Uh, big film weekend this weekend. Got a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to get uh, that K-Bar done. I've got my own uh, orange handled Manisospes now. I've got some water filters and a, and a bunch of other different things that I got to be doing videos on. So that's it for now. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Check the links to the sponsors down below. A bunch of different links to help support the channel. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then. Seriously, I, I don't know where the baby penguin that got hit by a lawnmower came from. It's just the cold does something to my brain. It freezes, and I should probably... It's, it's that point in the year where I should probably start wearing a hat, I think. Yeah, definitely.